Um, hey, what's up, gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me, Good Bullets to Tell, and um, my hair is looking extra poofy today. That is pretty cool. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, the other day, the user um, dxbris7701 asked if I could make a video where I share my top five favorite fans. Um, I, of course, have a bazillion favorite bands, however, I won't be sharing all of them because there's too many. I have too many favorite bands. But this is just going to be my top five. In no particular order either, because like all of these bands, they're like too good, and I can't choose a favorite. It would be too hard. Um, I'm, I'm sure you all know that I am uh, a massive, 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 massive Black Bell Brides fangirl. In fact, I, I am a stereotypical Black Bell Brides fan. Because, like, I mean, let's be real here. Most Black Bell Brides fans are teenage girls like myself who are obsessed with Andy Biasek and have either spent way too much money on Black Bell Brides merch or really want to spend m money on Black Bell Brides merch. I, however, cannot spend money on their merch because my mom said, no, she already said that I have too much fan merch. Um... But that's okay. I'll get some eventually. I have learnt the lyrics to everything in their entire discography. And I'm always listening to the album Set the World on Fire on repeat 24-7. It's gone to the point where I don't even have to have headphones in or something just to hear Set the World on Fire playing. It's just ringing in my head constantly. And I can't stop it. Yeah, also, they're going to release new music on April the 26th. Be look, look forward to that. April the 26th. Possible Black Bell Bride 7. Um, I'm excited. Also, they released new merch, but it all sold out. And also, it's super expensive. Because I live in New Zealand. Band merch is expensive for me. Not only because, like, it's way ex everything's super expensive. Like, the currency, the currency transfer and stuff. But also, shipping. You know, because... I live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Um, another one of my favorite bands is Emotionless in White. Um, you see, funny story. Um, I actually put off listening to Emotionless for years just because I thought that they were way too scary and way too cool for me. Until randomly on a whim, I just decided to read their entire Wikipedia page, um, looked at the influences, and, well, I mean, they do have quite a few infl um, influences, but two of them. Corn and Marilyn Manson. I love both those bands so much. Hey, guess what? Randomly afterwards, the music the music video for America popped up on my YouTube re re on my YouTube recommended homepage thingy, and I watched it. And holy hell, I I was I was I love Motionless and White. And ever since then, I've just been a massive fan. And you see, the, the thing about Motionless is that after listening to and and learning the lyrics to everything in their entire discography, I found out that they don't have any bad songs. At all. Like, even if you listen to, like, their old stuff from, like, the horror or whatever, they don't have any songs that I'd skip. Another one of my favorite bands, as I, 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 I who I mentioned briefly before, for um, Marilyn Manson. Um, a lot of people recently, I've noticed, have been commenting on my videos saying that I probably shouldn't be a fan of Marilyn Manson because of all of those allegations and stuff. But I mean, come on, I'd, I, I just can't believe that. I, I, I don't want to get cancelled for saying this stuff, but I genuinely don't think that he did that kind of stuff. I mean, come on, Mr. Manson, he is a smart dude. Disregarding all of that stuff, I love his music. Um, fun fact, the first time I ever listened to Marilyn Manson, I actually had no clue of his existence until I heard about him on Wikipedia. The story was, was like, um, I, I, I heard, I was looking through like metal subgenres, right? And then I found this cool thing called industrial metal. I thought that that sounded epic, so I decided to look through what industrial metal was. Um, and then I came across a list of um, industrial metal bands or whatever. And then I just arbitrarily chose whatever one I thought had the coolest name, which was Marilyn Manson. So I went on to Spotify and I searched for him and and then I looked through his albums, found ch chose the one with the coolest 
title, which was Antichrist Superstar, because let's be real, that's a cool title. Um, and then I chose the song that I thought had the coolest title. Cause, like, usually when I look through bands or, like, try to discover new music, it's mainly just cool titles and cool album art. That's what draws me in. Um, the, the, so the first Marilyn Manson song that I had ever heard was Dried Up Tide and Dead to the World. I thought that that title sounded very appealing and I, I was intrigued. So I listened to it. I proceeded to have nightmares for the next month. Um, totally worth it though. Now I've memorized everything in his dis entire discography. I don't regret a thing. Next band I have on my list, um, My Chemical Romance, of course. Do I even really need to be saying this? Yes, I do. Um, I love My Chem. Um, I have a bunch of their merch. Um, I, I, I saw them live and that was the best day of my life. The first time that I ever listened to My Chem, I was sitting and I was playing Minecraft with my headphones and listening to music, Spotify Shuffle, um, and then a My Chemical Romance song came on. I forgot which song it was. Um, and I was just like, oh my god, this sounds different. What? 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 And, and then I got, I remember I got really scared because he had said a swear word. Gerard Way, he, there was, there was swearing in the song. And I was just like, oh my god, is it a bad word? I cannot have my parents hear that I'm listening to this. My favorite My Chem album is Bullets. Um, I actually have two of their vinyls. Um, I have Revenge and The Black Parade. Both amazing albums. I, I, I can't forget Danger Days. We love Danger Days. Danger Days Appreciation. My last band on the list. Falling in Reverse. I love Falling in Reverse. I think that Falling in Reverse is so cool. Because, you see, um, uh, going right back briefly, briefly to My Chem, I only listened to My Chemical Romance for years. Um, and then I realized, hey, I need to expand my music taste. So I decided to listen to Falling in Reverse. Um, the Falling in Reverse, they were basically the band that just kind of introduced me to, hey, look, there are other bands other than My Chemical Romance. And hey, guess what? I love Falling in Reverse. Favorite album, of course, The Drug in Me Is You. Um, something I've noticed though is that like their music, it's getting sadder and sadder. Have you guys noticed that as well? I'm, I'm happy that the band has like grown and evolved and stuff, but it's, it's, it's a strange feeling. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I think I'll wrap it up here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye, guys.